Infrastructure was key to Labor's announcements today, with just three days until New South Wales goes to the polls. The calm before the storm. Nothing could rain on Labor's $3.7 million announcement for the Killer League Coastal Walk. Mostly, you know, able-bodied people can access, and I think it's very important. I mean, we have a beautiful tourist destination here, and I think it's very important that we have a fac a facilities or the, fac the capable facilities pr to provide for everyone for the community. We'll also include uh, a second access point into Killalee State Park through Buckley's Lane at Dunmore. This will alleviate a lot of uh, traffic conge congestion in Shell Cove. Labor has put its hand up, committing $3 million to Warilla, Shoalhaven Heads and Kiama Downs Surf Life Saving Clubs. With this upgrade we can um, incorporate a kiosk and uh, upgrade the function centre so it's actually um, more inviting to people these days that want you know, more for their money. And $15 million towards the notorious Appen Road. Improvements to the road surface, improvements in barriers both down the centre line and on the kerbs and on the shoulders. The Liberals' campaign is rolling on in the form of the Baird bus. It's a great morale booster because it reminds us of what's at stake and that is the choice between Mike Baird as Premier of New South Wales or Luke Foley back to the bad old days of Labor. While the Premier may be absent from the bus today, Labor insists its own bus will be rolling into the region within the next few days with Luke Foley on board. But the government says it's too little, too late. We've got a few days to go and I would say watch this space. It may not be too late for change in the seat of Wollongong. National media reports quote a Labor insider worried about independent Arthur Roris. It's just another beat up of uh, a situation, desperate comments from desperate candidates uh, who in the main appear to be relying on Liberal preferences. Arthur joined mother Kerry Stratton to talk about concerns over the National Disability Insurance Scheme. It's great that we've got the NDIS, but if it means for these people that they have choice taken away from them rather than given to them, if it means that they may have to move out of the places that they have waited years to get into, then it's not working for them. The government says non-government services will continue to operate under the NDIS and the scheme will provide more choice once it's rolled out. Melissa Russell. Win News.